So this guy at the airport was like, scanners give you cancer. And I was like, your girlfriend gives you cancer. And I'm right. Ah. Hey, how to crew, Andrea Fetchko here. That actually happened, which inspired this video. How dangerous are the radiation levels you get from backscatter scanners? And prepare for your mind to be blown because science rocks. Scanners are part of the ionizing radiation category, which includes gamma rays, x-rays, aka scanners, and higher ultraviolet rays, as opposed to non-ionizing radiation, like radio waves, microwaves, etc. Ionizing radiation carries enough energy to actually free electrons from atoms and molecules, hence ionizing them. Yay, middle school science. And enough of that energy can cause tissue damage, mutations, cancer, death. Just stay away from WebMD. Ah. Ionizing radiation is measured using millirems, at least here in the US, so that's what we'll be using. So much science already! So let's get to it. How much radiation does a backscatter scanner cause? According to TSA, that is 0.005 millirems per scan. Other sources say up to 0.01 millirems, so for argument's sake, let's go with the bigger number. 0.01 millirems. Save that number up there. Cancer! No. Let's put this into perspective, shall we? Water, which is essential for life, carries traces of radium, uranium, and or thorium. And if you're from Flint, a whole lot of other bad stuff. If you drink just three glasses per day, you're picking up 0.045 millirems per year. Stones, bricks, your house all emit radiation. For example, Grand Central Terminal, if you stand in that puppy, you're picking up 0.06 millirems per hour. Now, if that makes you rethink taking the train or subway, I have some bad news for you. Maybe rethink your flight, because while that scanner gives you a maximum of 0.01 millirems per scan, according to the American Nuclear Society, you pick up 0.05 millirems per minute. For every NYC to LA flight, you're picking up three to four millirems per flight. Cancer! No. No, not yet. Because just living on Earth gives you radiation. If you're at sea level, you get a whopping 26 millirems per year. If you're a mile above sea level, like Denver, you can double that. Cosmic radiation and those higher ultraviolet rays I was telling you about, the higher up you are, the more that you get. And then add in all the stones and rocks, you're picking up 75 millirems a year just by living in Denver. So Denver gives you cancer. No, because just being human gives off radiation. Processing potassium, bananas, gives off gamma radiation. Really? But you need bananas to survive, so keep on eating those. But don't eat it like a creep, please. That means if you sleep next to someone, you're getting two millirems off them per year, which means your boyfriend or girlfriend is giving you cancer. I'm right. That's why I'm happy I sleep alone. Not really. <laughs> The average person gets 620 millirems a year. In order to be considered dangerous, you need to be at 5,000 millirems. But smoking five cigarettes per day gives you double the average per year. So just try to stay around that 600, 620 millirem per year and you should be good. And to make you feel better, the FDA won't even allow a single person, even a pilot, to get more than 25 millirems off a scanner per year. That's 2,500 flights. Which means at home, so I should probably get off the plane and, you know, Get a life. What? So that x-ray scanner is nothing. Not as much as flying, living in Denver, or just being human in general. If you want to know more, go to ans.org. They have this really cool calculator to see how many millirems you're getting per year. Hypochondriacs, you are so welcome. And I am one of those hypochondriacs. What is the craziest thing you've ever gone to the hospital for? I once thought that my appendix burst, but really I just had to go to the restroom. Just make me feel better. Share your story in the comments below. <laughs> and if you found this helpful, please share this video and also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.